Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you guys are keeping well. This is the Samsung Galaxy M51. This is my review. Um, I'm going to talk about, do a close up of the phone, go through all its key selling points, what I think, how it fares amongst the competition. Um, and here the phone is. It's an absolute beast. Anyway, let's go check it out in more detail and go from there. So, this is the Samsung Galaxy M51 um, in the box you get um, 3.5 millimeter headset sounds very good to be honest you don't get um, there was none in my box different size buds but it's not something that you couldn't find if you needed different size things to put on there comes with fast charger the phone charges at 25 watts this does it it's really good this is the phone itself. On the side, you have here, you've got the um, fingerprint sensor, which is built into the power switch, volume up and down. You have the mono speaker on the bottom, and USB-C, your mics, headphone jack. Up here, this is a three slot so you can have two nano sim cards plus a micro sd so there are three slots on that um, and you have your mic on the top you'll notice this is the black it's quite shiny it does show fingerprints the cameras you have uh, is a quad camera set up here you have a 64 megapixel rear camera 13 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and 5 megapixel depth. And the front is 32 megapixels. It's Grilla Glass 3 on the front, a plastic back, aluminium frame. This weighs 213 grams, has a Snapdragon 730G. Um, but let's show you some of the nice, fun stuff on this. So if I just turn on, you've got this great animation that I really like. Um, let's actually use the fingerprint and you're straight in it has loads of different options here you've got all your toggles here so you've got your power modes your blue lights your mobile hotspot smart view nfc screen recorder dolby atmos is there as well uh, focus mode all those bits and pieces this does have a 7000 milliamp battery it's unreal i've got to say it's unreal absolutely amazing um, I will actually just plug these in a second the, the headset but it is so nice having a nice 3.5 millimeter thing that you can just plug some decent wired headphones in as well IMs work really well so you do have uh, FM radio here and you can now turn it on and you can see I've got my uh, favorites I've got my stations here and the ones that it's picked up so my favorite my favorites it does have uh, the text as well so you can see that i just try not to get the um, reflections too much off the lights even though i did actually turn them off let's just quickly go in and turn one of them off let's do that one that's one that's causing most of the reflections so it's a very powerful uh, chipset 730g is powerful enough um, i've actually been playing on this um the xbox game pass um if i swipe up you can see and i did eight hours solid playing um with this on the xbox game pass and still had tons of battery left still um 40 percent battery after you know literally gaming of all things you just do not have to worry about um the, the battery on this it just goes on and on 13 14 hour screen on time 12 you hammer it light use three days reasonable heavy use two days um you just don't have to worry and the fast charging is really nice having the super fast charging at the 25 watts that does help um to give you an idea from zero to uh, full takes um just under two hours 100 took me about 115 minutes to do um but because you've got such big battery you can use it to charge via the cable 
other devices as well. Um, camera, let's have a look at show you the camera. So on the camera, you've got um, the macro mode, night mode, video, slow motion. I've adjusted these to have what I want to show here. Some of the extra ones you've got are panorama, food, live focus, hyperlapse, single take, and you can you can customize what you see down here. You on the video you've got normal, you've got ultra wide as well. Photo you've got the same. You can zoom in. I say you can do ten times, but that's rubbish. Um, two times here is 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 probably as most as I'd go with this particular camera. The shots are very nice, very punchy. Um, here you've got you can change the aspect ratio, no problem at all. Here in the settings, you've got seam optimizer, shot suggestions. Um, you, when you're on front selfie mode, you can adjust the smart selfie angle as well uh, to automatically get two people in. You can adjust what the shutter does to create a GIF or take burst shots. You can change the save options. You can do height. You have ultra a wide lens correction. Video size, um, 30, you can do 4K at 30 frames per second. Um, that is pretty much there. You've got high efficiency, you've got video stabilization, auto HDR, picture as previewed, grid lines, location tags, shooting methods, so you can have the volume keys, floating shutter button, um, and show your palm um, as well. That's very handy for doing selfies. And the, you can add a watermark as well. And that's it. But ultimately, this if I show you some of the photos on here, the camera on this is just a um, no-nonsense, simple to use, takes good, good photos. Um, so let's just... Have a look so here into the sun i just wanted to see how it would handle the sun literally shooting straight into the sun that's absolutely fine um, this is uh, down um, on in princetown where you have red telephone box uh, post boxes not telephone boxes we do actually have red telephone boxes as well this is the post box and you can see very punchy colors um, but everything comes out and this car um, here just suddenly appeared out of nowhere, I was taking a shot, but it's nicely in focus despite being on the edge. This is the front camera. Again, looks pretty good to me. Um, here, we've got the um, normal shot just to show you. And if we come back out and do the ultra wide, here's the ultra wide. Again, really nice, really clean, really easy to use camera, takes good photos. So, what you have here for uh, the full retail price is £330 from Samsung, but what you have is just a phone where its key feature is good chipset for battery, but then they stick a 7,000 milliamp battery in. You've got things like FM radio, you even have a notification LED, um, which I noticed, it's time it's right up, um, just up here. Um, you've got the side mounted fingerprint sensor, which I quite like. It also has the headphone jack. So all the things that they've taken away from phones over the years, like bigger batteries, um, headphone jacks, FM radio, all here. You cannot go wrong with this. It looks nice. Um, it's a great little phone. This is really, really nice phone. Anyway, if you've got any questions, give us a shout. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Catch you guys soon. Bye for now.